baseball by Kevin Ryan, Jose Sanchez, Alex Mercigliano, and Dana Lewis. Um, the purpose of our project is to determine the predictors for wins. In Major League Baseball, the winning pitcher is defined as the pitcher who last pitched prior to the half inning when the winning team took the lead for the last time. Uh, we obtain all of our data from ESPN.com and BaseballReference.com. Um, in order to uh, reduce the data, uh, we removed games where the pitcher did not factor into the decision. We created pivot tables for categorical variables, removed predictors that were not applicable to wins, and created correlation tables for numerical variables. Pause. We created pivot tables that display the average amount of wins for each categorical variable. As you can see here, we were able to reduce the categorical variables um, by quite a lot. Uh, the average of decision for wins for each team. Uh, Baltimore and Washington had basically the same average, so we combined those into one category. Um, in terms of months, we see that April, May, June, July, and August all have about the same average for wins, so we're able to combine those into one. Uh, for the opponents that a team is facing, we were able to combine those down into about 10 or 15 instead of the uh, 30 or so that it was originally set as. And finally, we saw that playing in the American League or National League does not matter. So we got rid of that variable altogether. The data mining techniques we utilize for our model are classification and regression tree and logistic regression. Um, from the cart, we were able to see that um, our rules for the full tree model, um, if, a team, if a pitcher gives up less than two and a half runs in a game, he will win the game no matter what the other factors are. Um, if a pitcher gives up more than two and a half runs, but less than four and a half runs, and has 10 and a half fly ball outs in a game, he will win the game as well. If the pitcher gives up more than four and a half runs in a game, he will lose the game. And finally, if the pitcher gives up in between two and a half runs and four and a half runs, and has less than 10 and a half fly ball outs, he will lose the game. In the prune tree, we were able to see that it comes down to a pitcher giving up less than two and a half runs, he will win the game. If he gives up more than two and a half runs, he will lose the game. The lift curve the curve helps us determine how effectively we can skim the cream by selecting a relatively small number of cases and getting a relatively large portion of the responders. So essentially, we'd only need about 80 records to capture majority of our data for a lift chart. If we take a look at the validation data set, you can see that there is a higher lift from this model than to the naive model. This shows that our current model is more accurate, is an accurate uh, model of our predictors. When we used a log logistic regression to determine the best predictors and decide on the outcome of a game, it is seen that the predictors we should use in our model are ground ball outs, fly outs, line drives, double plays, runs, and if you play for the Yankees or Phillies, or you're playing against the Cubs, the Rockies, or the Marlins, it is seen that you'll probably end up winning your game. Overall, based on the classification and regression tree, we found that a pitcher has the best chance of winning a game when he gives up less than two and a half runs. However, if the pitcher gives up between two and a half and four and a half runs, he must induce greater than 10 and a half flyouts per game. Additionally, the logistic regression shows the most important predictors for wins are the team the pitcher plays for, the opponent he plays against, the amount of runs, flyouts, groundouts, double plays, and line drives he gives up in a game.